Ama, thank you very much for today. The Storm, what do you think we should be looking forward to? So obviously it's a film that is um, six on corruption um, in Ghana during an election year. It also speaks about um, the good and the bad within the police force and in general in our society. And I think it sort of makes a lot of social commentary that a lot of Ghanaians and Africans can relate to, especially in times like this. What's the name? When you Juma. Guys, for today, we actually down at what um, the Genesis Cinema. What we are here to do is to be able to, you know, be part of the premiering event. Take my heart, baby, carry go. If you leave me, baby, I go die. Do you have any information on the victim? Yes, a teenager. Badly tortured. Okay, into your because you are mobile, Kwaba. Okay, you are most welcome to today. Young Ketchi and Asi and Kabrofo. Young Mix it. Okay, we present a test too. Okay. Okay, okay. But what's the name of me today? I'm quite deep too much. But for man, Mate, Mate. Into tell me today you guys are matching. Tell me what's going on before I even ask the reason why you are here today. Um, we are couples. Yes. And I'm Lynn and he is Nick. 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 But you're going to treat me here then? They're from Greece. Okay. Uh, but I live in the UK. That's amazing. So you are from Greece? Yes. But I live in the UK. In the UK. Tell us about tonight. What are you expecting and why did you come here today? Uh, we're expecting to watch uh, an action movie with a lot of Ghanaian um, actors and actress. Okay. Which is, I, I know it's Lynn's favorite. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes, I'm a woman. We, we, we are here for them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for anybody who is never come to an event like this, what would you be saying to such people? Oh, I think they should come because yeah. you get to meet all your stars. You get to mingle with different culture, different food. Yes. Because in the UK, you hardly get food to eat. But here, I've seen a lot of African food display, which is great. Yes. It's nice. And I'm happy for him to test everything. Yeah. What kind of food are you planning Are you planning on to have tonight? Pretty much watch it. Of course, watch it. I think there's some sobolo as well okay. in preparation. Okay. I saw some pineapples. So I love sobolo too. So there's not going to make be anything that is make you go to, go to sleep by the time you're watching the evening? No, no, no. We're going to stay late. We're going to be in the, at, the, at the party as well. Yeah. So it's going to be a long night yeah, for in us. London. It's going to yeah. be very good. Yeah. You know what? I will just keep on waiting and watching you. Yes. After the event, I will come and find you and make sure that you enjoyed it. Sure, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sounds good. Thank you very much. And I keep watching. I want to see you guys again. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for hosting this. <laughs> what is more catch you? What's the name? Nice to have a view. Okay. I'll come back again. Sure. Nice so, to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to Now that the moonlight, your eyes shine bright. In a world so busy, you make everything right. Rhythm of our hearts beating in sync. In the South Folk Group, we from what we think. Afro RB flow for the night, take flight. With every single move, everything. Ama, thank you very much for today. We are really, really honored to have you on. More or less, this is what, the red carpet, yes. okay? The Storm, what do you think we should be looking forward to? So obviously, it's a film that is, um, speaks on corruption. It speaks on corruption um, in Ghana during an election year. It also speaks about um, the good and the bad within the police force and in general in our society. And I think it sort of makes a lot of social commentary that a lot of Ghanaians and Africans can relate to especially in times like this Ama, you never grow old you know you've been in this business for way 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 too bad you know but the interesting thing is you continue to come back to feature on these amazing stuff what's the secret and what keeps you going god's grace Amen. god's grace um just you know what i think i'm blessed to do what i love i'm blessed to Acting is my passion, TV is my passion. Um, anytime I get to work in the media, creative arts, I don't look, I look at my watch. I look at it as, um, you know, when you're 
on TV or you're doing films, you get into people's homes. People don't realize that. People see you on screen. You're, you know, I was on OBE TV for many years and people felt like they know me. And it's such a blessing because you, in essence, become part of people's extended family, um, whether through your films, your, um, your work, you know, your TV. And I, I'm just so blessed I get to do what I love. Um, that's amazing. Let me not take too much of your time. We work with young people and we want to be able to ask. If a parent is thinking, you know, acting really doesn't pay, you know, it really doesn't bring the fulfillment of a young person. What would you say to such a young person or maybe to that parent who may be thinking, forget about acting, go and be that doctor? I would say this. Bottom line is, look, a lot of parents, they really just want the best for their children and they come from a good place. I will say this and I'll, say, I'll probably use myself as an example for when I wanted to get into media drama if I wanted to go and do my degree in drama and my mom I remember she said this to me like it's good you want to do what you love but acting the world is a very hard field so make sure that you're doing a degree which is more wider I wanted to solely do a drama degree so she advised me like maybe do you know drama and something else just so that you know I have a, a bigger career pool just in case it doesn't work out and for a lot of people it doesn't always work out so with that advice I ended up doing my degree in drama and, 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 and media arts that was TV that was radio that was journalism and you know by listening I also was able to learn more about the media in general so I definitely think that yes parents encourage your children because right now look people are making money on TikTok like that that excuse doesn't make make that oh don't go into acting or, no it doesn't work anymore but I definitely do think that you need to you know education is important try and get your education um, as my, my friend says you know there's IQ and EQ which is IQ what you're gonna learn or you know you, you, the sense and then EQ okay. that, that one streets or you know the home uh, what, what you're not gonna learn in school so it's, it's important so I definitely think with parents you know they're valid, they have valid concerns but make sure that you don't end up as a struggling artist like so many people do and do find other streams of income, other streams of business when you are in the creative arts. Um, finally, what do we look forward to in terms of other projects that you've got coming up? I continue to you know, stalk your Instagram, I see different stuff, you've got things coming up. What do we wait up to see? Okay, so there's a couple of films. So um, Another film I did is called Phoenix Fury uh, that was shot, uh, half of it in Ghana, half of it in Nigeria. Um, an amazing director, Ufuma, um, who, an amazing film is coming out soon we also did a film with um, a director called Khalil Josephs uh, that was a Hollywood film that some of it was shot in Ghana and in, in, in the US that will be coming out later on um, Black News um, and some other little bits I'm producing as well and there's a few other things so you know check me out I'll, I'll be I'll keep posting about what I have coming up that's amazing guys let's keep on looking for our artists we need our people who represent us who look like us and continue to give us these interviews come on thank you very much and it's on our Other event, we've got people who are selling local food, local drinks, and everything. Masa, <laughs> 
1937 club I are in Ghana. I need now more coffee Ghana and I said we are climbing in Africa. And I want to call Ghana coffee bar. Yeah, yeah, cry. Yeah, yeah, cry. We are free Ghana bar. Hello, my best you so I best you. Yeah, I best you. And in Ghana and said yeah, but we call that side also your sugar or your ginger drink or your pineapple juice so. And in Mr. Shiana there, me na me pen sana so. Unim brani and kona chile me niama mo wa hanu me ne dey. Eh, chile Guinness ni club wa ha. Guinness ni club na wa made ni ni made in Ghana. British Airways and First class. First class. Yeah. Then be on our Alumu. 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 Ohima. Your friend Ohima. Yeah. Or join your friend Ohima. Okay. Yeah. I know Okay. I'm part of my mama Mama Yeah. Bensu ya Bensu. Made in Ghana. Bensu wa. Bensu. Yeah. Edim. Nanti ndomu ni. Nanti ni ni. Now kasi abensu ya ni ya wenu no. Ana yen kamwa semene. I wenu ya bensu wa umu abeni ya bensi ya na ya be. Pitono no suwa ha. Pitono no liya ya mexi pitono wa. Yo loka. Apetesi ya. Kasi no suwa ha. Apetesi wa ha. Wee yo krema yon kwati. Krema yon kwati. O kasi ato sebe. De men to sebe. Sebe di ya yen to sebe. Inti krema yon kwati wa. Inti wa utu shebi ya ne tse. Unya wa yanga jobe na se. Wone ne mle ya befa. Wesu loka. Pyo loka no suwa ha. Abe. Abe. Abe pa. Eh frigana ne diaba. Inti mi mesa shi ya ne nyema ya wo ha no. Ya da si bebe. So bi isu shaw se bi ya obe koni event. Nwe tu mi abu wana asyo bi bi se ya obe de un. So follow your handles ne o social media ni na kufumi kaas wa tiktok. Kufumi kaas facebook. Kufumi kaas youtuber. Ya telephone numbers ne o. Ay be bo biti mari tiyan. O message ya. Ye jen na 24-7. Ye be service na ma. Ene ni baje. Bebi ya ye kle. Light en kwa. Masa. Ye da masi bebe. Ye su di abanga kufi. E fransa yi. Ticha. Ticha abanga kufi. Abanga kufi. Yeah, bang a kufi. Yeah, that's it, baby. Yeah, best way to my palm over here in the day. Why? Yeah, that must be. Why? Masa? Yeah, that must be. Yes, sir. Why? Yes, sir. Yo. If you wouldn't fall to What's that? I'm going to meet you, Juma. When you Juma? Aye. Now, Dani, I see Juma. You know, when you Juma, no. Ah, so I see Juma Bebrewa. Juma Bebrewa, ha. Okay, Minya, catch me. Then, in the mall, we to meet you, Juma Bisa. And I think so. We to meet you, Juma. Efra, what's that? Patcho, Efra, me Malakai. And you want to say now, when you Juma Bisa? I brought you here, I see Juma in you. What do you want to say now, when you Juma? Tu es un Américain, tu es un Américain. Mais... Si c'est où il y a un mortgage au Ghana, et bien c'est où tu as un mortgage, où tu as un fier et un mortgage, et bien c'est où tu as un mortgage, et bien c'est où tu as un sponsor du programme. Ok. Et bien c'est où tu as un mortgage, nous vendons, nous vendons, nous vendons, et bien c'est où tu as un mortgage, Instagram, X, Facebook, TikTok, et bien c'est où tu as un mortgage, that's amazing guys for today we actually down at what um, the Genesis cinema what we are here to do is to be able to you know be part of the premiering event interestingly we have what my urban move they are one of the main sponsors of today's event and I've managed to what grab coffee uh, yeah interestingly coffee speak tree he speaks what English as well and I'm really amazed coffee oh the how to miss you a tree oh but your tree is your casa Ghana, I'm going to school in Ghana. And I'm going to be a dream. I'm going to be Ghana for 23 years. Now, so I'm going to be a dream, baby. In two years, I'm going to be a dream in Ghana 23. So, I'm going to be a dream. I'm going to be a dream. I'm sure you're going to be a dream in 24. Why are you going to be a dream? Why are they mobile? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I'm really impressed of the fact that you know Kofi is speaking the local dialect, he's speaking the local language, and also feels part of the community. Kofi then I'll be catching Oma it be omu nim say be a oh my urban move a b sa and I say omu nim pose and they are premiering air wahanum then I'll be catching 
Mi pacho se uni my urban mover. Mami kancho se se mu ushushe fi ebi a unhi a ubi a a ube. You trust him. Omo around for a very long time. Okay. And Omo to Hacho Hacho Junction. And Omo met me at the BBA mall. Omo be called Lands Commission. Omo is here. Then it's a upe. Omo Omo ni mall. So Omo ni njo. Omo Omo is here for a mall. Inti. So Omo is here. Maybe a uncompleted. And as a completed. Then no. Me pacho. Koho na koche di Omo. And when you be doing. Kofi. Yeah, that's it, baby. So, Obi, you should share so be follow your social media. Or handle your thing. Me patcho, my urban move. Uh, Omu logo. It is N1. Uh -huh. Now, Obi, Obi, follow Omu. Uh, uh, social media. Omu X. Omu Instagram. Omu Facebook and a TikTok. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that must be baby. Guys, it was an amazing experience meeting Kofi. You know, he wowed us. Speaking tree, speaking English. And, um, yeah, just to represent the motherland. Guys, we'll see you and hopefully we can speak to our next person boom Investigations led us to believe that there is a crime ring operating in the city and beyond. I'm on their trail. We can't quit now. What is the worst thing you're willing to do for power? Who wanna go first? Okay. Okay, so what's your view about the storm today? Um, I was very impressed with what I saw today. And I think it puts Ghana on a very different um, map of the world today as it is. The ideas in the movie is very relative to what is happening in, around the world today. And so I think it is eye-opening for us from where we are. I mean, my husband and um, Ben always who go way back. And before Ben was Ben, we knew who Ben was. So it's quite nice for him to be able to put Ghana on the map with the issues that are relevant to today on a screen like this for the whole world to see. That's amazing. Let me go back to you because I heard a little bit to say that you have a very close relationship with Ben. Yes, I do. Um, I've known Ben for um, years now. We used to be in the army together. He's a, a brother to me. So, yeah, we go we go back a long way. That's amazing. So, actually coming to support a brother and also an ex an ex service person makes it great what kind of stuff do you think we should be encouraging our producers just like Bren to be able to produce that is more relevant to us well Obviously, um, I, I was here to support him, considering this is his first uh, big project into the movie industry. So, I think they actually need more support from us. It's just like we need we need to participate when our brothers or one of us is doing something as as, as honourable as this. We need to obviously, uh, I mean, turn up and, and support them and, and encourage them to obviously continue to whatever you know I mean heights they they, they they can really go to. Yeah, which I I believe everyone obviously. Must, must, must help. That's great. Guys, I continue to say we are Ghanaians, but people may think, you know what, when you come to events like this, it's only English. Say, Obi Peso, Babi, B say, no, Jane will say, be our own, she are Ghana for Mukatri, near there. Then I'll be catching 
yeku habe bre ya yeku heni na yeka tree wa hasi ishia yangu biya huna nyangu peni asasi yeka tree dan bro funa kwa dan chain and it's been incredible again we on dream we on down dream we say gana for yado sasa wa hasi but turning up to an event like this it has been amazing indeed whenever bibi say be babi ya nwen pamancho bi ya nyo eno huna mame support ya brothers and sisters ya omo yiro mo abu wa gana me yesu yedu baby guys gana is being put on the map and through movies through you know cinema experiences we need to be able to tell our stories and that's exactly what we want to do so to this couple we say thank you very much and we wish you the best of the night thank you thank you very much thank you lovely meeting So we finally managed to be able to have Kofi Mukase. If you continue to hear that name, this is the Kofi Mukase that you've always been hearing of. Masa Kofi, and then the Ebedi Waha. Yo, thank you very much. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be here. And uh, I'm Sir Muhammad Nichia. The song movie premiere. And I hear you say now, Kofi Mukase, I'll be here. I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, we um, pepper soup. Okay. Yeah, we wate. Yeah, we jollof rice. Yeah, we, you know, um, tofu. Yes, I yeah, we niyama bebre. Yes, I yeah, fresh juice. Oba ni asensen pineapple. No ni extract juice. No mama. Fresh one, no sugar, nothing. Okay. In teacher say yeah, we niyama bebre. We niyama pa bebre. In biyani a udia. Ebe mo wa pumudeng. In biyani a, you know. Just a maggi maggi in your menu, natural, organic one. If you need this, I have a pair of it. Yeah, on your mother, yeah. What's a coffee? You and him say, you baby, a bed, you and a dear, just a baby, I want, I was here making sure I say, be our honor. Apart from events, we say, oh, be sure, you're better than whom. Where can we find you so that when people want to book you, they can easily find you? Oh, okay, I'm saying, maybe I'm a child crying, yeah, you're out, yeah, crack. I mean, Google search now. Book of Fimukasa, my number of baby. And I owe your program. Be an auto safari. I babble to be a camera. The bounce are a bad. If you what's your assessor for phone now? Pa, a babble no bunch no how warm. Some bacon now, pa, a babble come out. The OPB are a babble. It's a mature point in Arabia, but let me the number and swat to draw. My number is zero seven four. Six seven three six zero Guys, in a typical Ghanaian experience, you cannot have an event without food, and that's exactly the reason why we have all these meals here. And if you want to find the main person behind it, it was Kofi Mukase. But apart from that, he's got all these beautiful ladies supporting him in the kitchen. And if you want to think about booking an event or think about something authentic to do with the Ghanaian community, this is a man to call. Thank you very much, Kofi. And your best yes, you have you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why ready? Yeah? All right. Is it running? All right. So we came to the Storm premiere. And for the very first time, you know, people, Ghanaians have come together. But apart from that, we've got the wider community come to come together to witness one of the great productions from a Ghanaian. Tell us about it. How did you find the Storm today? 
The storm was absolutely mind-blowing, uh, a phenomenal cast, and I'm absolutely a girl fan um, of Emma. Um, she just um, encapsulated everything that I think um, her character needs to, to present, and I think it was quite timely attending because we've got over, I think, 90 elections happening worldwide, and especially in Africa, when you think about you know, the state of how people trust in governments, in our police force, in um, even the state of like how the churches are it was really um, a really good um, I say a script so bravo to the to the writer the production the director but um, I didn't expect it to end the way it ended that that really caught me off guard you know what I think there's a very typical way of saying to us we never know what's gonna happen next we never know whether there's gonna be a part two we never know whether there's gonna be another one and if there is another one what do you think they should be focusing on I think the focus should be about the people so giving the people the power Power, hence why I don't give too much away but whoever's watching this you need to watch the storm um, literally the fact that the way it ended made me feel like as if there needs to be more to evoke people within the community to give them that voice give them that power and I think it's the uprise of that kind of revolutionary kind of politics that we need even in Africa and myself attending as a UK Ghanaian diasporian um, I just really got a lot of um, hope and a sense of like belonging so I really I'm hopeful that um, I guess politics will resolve so many things that um, I feel our country needs um, but we just need the right candidates to step forward and really immerse themselves within the community and be those advocates that the community definitely do need and um, yeah the corruption <laughs> let's stop the corruption <laughs> you know what I think that I wouldn't want us to be able to end on that very sad note but the reality is it is something that we are living with whether in Africa whether in the world you know, this is the reality that we are living with. As somebody who represents as a Ghanaian and also of the diaspora, what would be one thing that you will be saying to the youth, to the community back in Ghana? You know, what do you think people should be looking forward to the likes of us as the diasporans, who although we continue to claim ourselves as Ghanaians, we are not fiscally there. But what is one hope, one word of hope that we would want to continue to say to our brothers and sisters back in the motherland? The word is hope, um, to be hopeful, to keep trying and also bring back that, that capital C that means community capital. I think we talk a lot about capital and um, I guess the economy and how it's let so many of us Ghanaians down back at home and even here in the UK. And I think it's about that community wealth building, it's about seeing your brother or sister, um, siblings and bringing that force of nature and I think putting back in the heart of community that thing that we all need so desperately which is a sense of belonging and I think if we once get back to the hold of that and I guess forget about the worldly things then we'll see things be a lot more clearer and have a lot more um, I guess sense of purpose so just keep being hopeful and um, don't wait for the government to change things you as a community come together be cohesive coherent and bring about that change people it is an honor we've met different Ghanaians who've come around today but apart from that we've got people from other backgrounds as well who've come to join us today and we want to say to you whether we are in Ghana whether we are in the diaspora we've only got one Ghana and that's exactly where we'll be coming up to it's an honor and Ben thank you very much for bringing us all together thank you very much thank you thank you guys we are honored to have the producer himself the brain behind you know this evening Ben thank you very much for this evening what are you gonna say to the community I mean um, I thank everybody for coming and I believe that this is not gonna be the first thing or the last thing we will keep producing something a compelling story for our community so we are here now and I believe that more is coming and we need your support that's amazing by you helping or supporting Ben's project it's mainly to mean that once there is a production out you need to come out as well to be able to watch it and that's the best way he can be encouraged Ben I think you finally gave us a teaser at the end of everything what's gonna happen after this because there is something that we think there is more coming yeah you tell us when is the next one coming what should we be looking forward to well keep watching <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that guys you've been told keep watching watch this space I, I was expecting to see any event part two about <laughs> 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 I then have a catcher event 
Why are they? Why are they? Why are they? Um, I was expecting a part two, so yeah, we are looking forward to it. It's, it's, it's rich. Uh, we need the investors. Look, if anyone wants to produce, bring cash. We'll come up with something unique yeah, again. <laughs> We need cash man. Guys, I'm so we need the crazy can we need scanner more fan brahmas have been very production now my guys thank you very much. It's an honor to see the brothers together. Nice one. And equally, if you've got other productions that you think you want to reach out to Ben, Ben, where can people find you? Um, you check our production company, Seven Aspect Limited, and we have our offices based in uh, S3 and Boramwood. So, okay, I'll tell you something. The whole movie was shot in Ghana. The post-production was done in the UK. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. yeah. The whole entire film shot in Ghana, post-production done in the UK. So, we have a team to do all those. So, we produce film, we shoot adverts, and we do a lot. So, you can check us from our website and you can see a lot of stuff there. Guys, if you think I'll be a good actor, let's know in the comment section. But apart from that, what we'll say is spread the news, share the news, you know, share the video that you really enjoyed today. But remember, like, subscribe, and be part of this community. Thank you very much, and the best of the season. Thank you.